Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Small Cap Recap. Um, my camera's dead and I've got plans, so I don't have enough time to charge it. And I figured, you know what, we could just do a short recap. This is going to be like five minutes, right? Just get the recap in, get on out, and uh, have ourselves a good old little weekend. Today was a great day for me, honestly. Um, great day in the market, mainly thanks to NUTX. So I figured I'd just recap this trade and kind of just go a little bit more in depth as to what I was looking at. Uh, and hopefully that'll just, you know, that was my main trade of the day. Um, and I was pretty busy throughout the day today. So I was actually riding this one all day long. That, okay. Uh, okay. I didn't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I've got the mind of a five-year-old. I apologize. <laughs> yeah, I said that. Anyways. I was, yeah, I had not X. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. My, you guys, listen, I was going to just like restart this and cut it out, but you know, <laughs> just know I'm like five. Okay. It doesn't matter. My brain is literally that of a five-year-old. So I entered NUTX uh, originally at 88 cents per share. And then I added again at 90 and then I added more, or I guess I added, I'm sorry, I entered at 90 cents. No, I did enter 88, 90. Then I got a dip on 92, added at 95, sold partial at 104. Um, Re-entered some more here at uh, 104. And then I added on the dip to 101. And then I got a final add at 99 with a risk set on 92 cents. Uh, and then I sold partial at 108. I was actually on the road. Uh, I sold half my position at $1.08. Sold the rest up between 113 and 121. I am currently swinging 10% of my overall um, overall position, like of my core position. I'm swinging 10% of that. Just looking to ride that into a gap up. And the reason being, this daily chart was beautiful, which is why I was okay being in this trade all day. Uh, this was just kind of a longer term hold or like, like an all day hold for me. Um, so this was just really nice development. We had a spike up from 50 cents up to $1.15. Uh, and then we dipped back down into the 60s before consolidating up in the 70s. And now we're look I was looking at breakout of that consolidation. I've been watching this chart for quite some time now, just waiting for that development. And I, once I saw that consolidation this morning out of the gates, um, just again, understanding the way this trades, this tighter consolidation generally uh, over the past you know few weeks has led to nice little pushes. So I figured today we're kind of nearing that breakout level. Wanted to try that for the breakout, and you know I'm glad I did. Um, I also traded PIXY today, although not nearly as well as I wanted to because it was a really hard one to trade. So I scalped it from here from like 13 up to 15. And then once more from 17, uh, 12, right in here up to like 1850. And then it went on, uh, halted and opened up after hours, ran up to 28. This was a very low volume trade all the way around. So this was a really tough one. I uh, wasn't able to get hardly any size on it. There's just been a steady short, uh, short seller covering their position that I've kind of just been watching in the level two in the tape. Um, so that was, I mean, really, you know, weird one. But I've been watching this one for a first green day for a while. And this is just like a day two continuation of that. Uh, also traded G-Sun today, although there was no follow through on it for an exhaustion low bounce. I had a $6 average starting in the 580s, adding up to like 612. Sold a third of my position up at 699. I was the top tick. And then sold the rest down at like 620 uh, for the rest of that after it failed to maintain any follow through. Um, but... Again, it was just like a relatively simple trade. I'd been watching that for a while. Wasn't able to get too, too much size on it. I had decent size, but uh, there was, there was, I was hoping for some follow through because once, so G-Sun is one, again, knowing how that stock works. Um, once it dips to lows and recovers, it has had really, really nice moves in the past off of that. So I was hoping for a move up to like 10 bucks, which we just didn't get. So I am still watching this, hoping for a few more days of drainage, ideally down to like, three bucks uh, watching that for an exhaustion low trade because um, it failed that first green day today. Now, like I said, I don't really have anything else. Those are the ones I traded today. Um, there weren't a lot of crazy movers. There was, I'll go over one more. 
we had this AGBA, a SPAC trade from a while back. Had just a crazy run today after that big dip. Um, ran up from five bucks to 12 and then all the way down. Um, so not, and then it just drained all the way back down to like seven bucks a share. Um, so nothing, nothing too crazy there. That, yeah, that's not real. That's just a misprint. Um, so that was, that was uh, like I said, just an interesting trade there. Um, no, I didn't take it personally. I was watching to see if it would perk back above VWAP and maybe recurl, um, but it just never did that. It never even got close to VWAP. So, you know, it is what it is, but it was, it was still uh, an interesting mover. These are kind of the trades that we're seeing right now, just a lot of low volume, illiquid stuff that moves. So anyways, guys, like I said, I'm keeping this uh, recap short today. I've got a birthday party I got to go head to. So I will be at that, I'm going to go uh, get, pick up a present and a card and head to that party. But thank you guys for watching. Sorry for being inactive this week. I uh, was just busy with a lot of other um, just junk all throughout the week. So sorry about that. Uh, we'll try to be consistent next week. Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy your weekend. I will see you later. Bye-bye. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for being a part of the Stocks to Trade family. We just hit 100,000 subscribers, but our goal by the end of this year is to get 150,000 new family members a part of our channel. So if you haven't already, be sure to hit that like button, comment down below, hit the subscribe button, and maybe even turn on your post notifications. We cannot do this without your guys' support. So thank you so much. And if you wanna see more of what we're doing, again, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and comment down below. We'll see you in the next video.